How to set up printing on Windows using a Konica multifunction printer. Go ahead and open up a browser of your choice and type in KMBS space drivers and press enter. All right, now you're going to want to click on the second link that pops up that says onyxweb.myconicaminolta.com. Okay, now that we clicked on that, you want to put your model uh, name of your printer in. We're going to put the 754E. And you have two options here, 754E, the black and white, or C754E, the color. We're going to choose the color today. All right, now that we've chosen that, we're going to go ahead and click on the Drivers tab. And then wait for that to load. Now that that's loaded, we're going to go ahead and select Windows 1064 bit because that's the Windows version we're using. You can go ahead and select any version that you have. Now you have the option here of PCL, Postscript, Fax, or Twain. Just use PCL or Postscript. They're both the same um, file. And you'll just grab the top one there that says .zip. And when you're ready, just go ahead and click on it and it'll start the download. Okay, now you can either open the file or save. I suggest you save the file to your downloads folder and hit OK. And you'll see the download in the top right hand corner or the bottom or on the bottom left hand side, depending on what browser you're using. Okay, now that the download is finishing up, we're just going to let that finish, and then we'll open up the folder. Alright, the download finished. You can right-click and hit Open Containing Folder, or you can come down to the bottom left-hand search side and hit Downloads. Just type in Downloads, and you'll see your file right there at the top. And what we're going to do is right-click it and hit extract here. That's going to extract the folder out right to the same location. And you'll see it popped up and said driver there. Alright, now we'll just go ahead and close uh, this box. You're not going to need to download anything else. And You can close the web page. In the search bar type in printers. Click on printers and scanners. And then the plus button there that says add printer or scanner. And you're going to let that search, but you're not going to click anything yet until you see the bottom that says the printer that I have wasn't listed. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And then scroll to add printer using TCP IP. Hit next. And then type in the IP address of the printer. After you're done with that, uncheck the query box and hit next. If you get this additional port information required, uh, just go ahead and hit next. Sometimes there's been a glitch where it doesn't see the copier. Now you're going to want to hit the Have Disk button, hit Browse, and scroll to your Downloads folder. Just like so. You'll see the driver box, hit Driver, just double click, and then Drivers again, double click. PCL or Postscript, either one is fine. I'm going to use PCL. Postscript is a very popular one as well. And then EN for your language. And then X64 if you have a 64 bit processor. Hit OK. And then Next. And here's where you're wanting to name the copier. So I'm going to go ahead and just name it Production Copier. And then hit Next. All right, now we're going to be installing the printer. You can just hit install. Okay, now you can choose whether you want to share it or not. And then I suggest you print a test page to make sure that it prints okay. And then we're almost done. We're going to do one last thing, which is turn off double-sided. So just go back to your... Uh, copy your name, hit manage, and then you're going to want to hit 
printing preferences. Wait for it to load. And then right here on the right hand side where it says two sided, you're going to flip that to one sided and hit apply. And then OK. All right, so that was how to set up printing using a Konica multifunction printer while using the Windows operating system. Thank you for watching.